Part 2 will talk about the body structure of a dog man. Generally speaking, a dog man, as an adult, reaches from 6.5 to 12 feet tall on twos and 3 to 5 feet high on all fours, weighing from 200 to 1,000 pounds, the latter weight like a big grizzly bear. It has a thick neck covered in a mane that reaches halfway down its back. It also has a huge upper body topped with big lat muscles, a barrel chest ending in a tapered waist, thick thighs and thin lower legs, especially the canine type. Many have said it has a six pack. It also has huge biceps and is like a huge canine bodybuilder. In fact, their muscles bulge through their fur. One has to take into account, however, that females are more slender than males. Its arms, fingers, and claws. Their four legs resemble arms ending in paws, similar to raccoon-like hands, the fingers of which are claimed by one witness to be so long that they'd hang over a dinner plate four to five inches. They have lanky, long, thick fingers. Another witness claimed a man-sized 17 ring fingers don't compare with a dog man's fingers. They seem to maneuver their fingers like ours. In addition, their forearms and forelegs appear very long. Their claws tend to be black, are sharp as knives, and are roughly three to five inches long. These are fatter and denser than nails and have the appearance of rose thorns, not being as straight as a grizzly bear's claws, but less curved than a black bear's. It's coat. Dog men tend to have a coat of fur about four to five inches long of various colors like tan, brown, and black. And if black, the fur, like a bison's coat, can be so dark that it appears to absorb light, which means you can't see its outline in dark conditions. Its black fur can have a glossy sheen to it as well. The fur around the tummy area thins out. Its facial hair is short and there's less fur on its head. If the dog man is stressed, it can lose its hair like a dog does. As far as its hands, the fur ends around the mid knuckle area. A dog man, like any canine, grows a winter coat. Its skin has a leathery texture and is grayish black. The hair on its tail is longer than its body hair. The ears. Its ears are usually lighter in color on the inside and they flick forward when it hears noise. The ears are inclined to be pointy like a Doberman Pinscher and can be on top or on the side of its head, depending on what type of dog man witnessed. Those ears on the side of its head can point backwards. Like a dog, the dog man lays its ears back and bares its teeth when it's angry. Sometimes there are tufts of fur on the top of its ears like a lynx and the ears turn towards sound like a dog. The eyes. Its eyes can be various colors from soulless black to green as well as blue or amber yellow and they, if not black, seem to self-illuminate and are visible at night. One witness reported them to be almond-shaped, but they are usually round and reportedly can be as big as softballs. 
and like any canine, they have night vision, and their pupils dilate when a light is flashed on them. Another interesting thing is the eyes are spaced apart more than a human's. As far as the intangible quality of their eyes, some have said they seem to be cold or dead eyes with no remorse. They seem to communicate through their eyes, which appear to look right through you like it's reading you and garners information about you. This is coupled with an intelligence behind its eyes, which have a wild quality. Moreover, its intent is readable through its eyes, and it projects its emotions through them. Its feet. As far as its feet are concerned, the canine type has three distinct claw marks on its footprints, twice the size of a normal human male foot. The canine type has three or four toes, whereas type threes have five toes. The canine type has three big toes in front with the heel in back, which roughly measures nine inches, whereas wolf prints only measure up to five and a half inches. Dogman prints are often mistaken for mountain lion prints, but are thinner towards the back with visible claw marks unlike a mountain lion because a mountain lion's claws retract when it walks. The footprint size of the adult ranges from 6 to 12 inches, with prints 1 to 2 inches wider than a man's hands. In fact, the prints are within grizzly size range, but narrower. The type 3 has 5 toes on each foot with claws. The ball of the foot on the Type 3 in one case was two inches deep in compacted sand after a rain. The head. A dogman's head was claimed to be three foot long by one witness on Dogman Encounters episode 154. Their noses are usually black and their heads are broader than a Rockweiler's. And if it's the canine type, its muzzle is longer. One canine type had a grizzly sized head. As far as the jaws, they are bigger than a mountain lion's. It has a long tongue, pink gums with black spots, and black lips. Usually one finds scars around the muzzle from territorial battles like a lion male. The snout can be six to eight inches long if it's a canine type. In episode 72 of Dogman Encounters, a type three's face was described as being similar to that found in Jim Carrey's movie, The Grinch That Stole Christmas. Also, type threes have no lips. A type three's nostril area is black and leathery, and it has a pushed out nose part with a brachiocephalic muzzle similar to a bulldog. Its teeth. The dogman's teeth are scary. Its upper and lower fangs are huge. It has sharp canines and its molars are sharp on the outside edges. In Jody Cook's book, Werewolves encounters with the black dog, he related that one dog man was described as having boar tusks. Its canine teeth can be up to four to five inches long, and even with a shut mouth, the teeth can protrude out. Its fangs are longer than a German shepherd's, and one witness described them as being four inches long and jagged. Another witness went so far as to describe a dogman with what looked like shark teeth, as if it had too many teeth in its mouth. Interestingly, their teeth are usually described as being pearly white and glistening, but can become yellow as it ages. And to heighten the fear factor, their teeth snap, 
while growling. Jeez.